my coolant is drained, I'm going to go ahead and remove the upper radiator hose clamp. I'm going to go ahead and remove the upper radiator hose from the radiator itself in order to provide more space to address the bolts for the top timing cover. Now in order to remove the top timing cover, you need to go around and undo 14 bolts. I'm going to remove the tensioner and the water pump pulley. So on the upper timing cover, there's three different size bolts. You have eight 10 millimeter bolts, three 15 millimeter bolts, all three of them are different lengths, so pay attention to where they come out of to make sure you put them back in the correct place and avoid future problems. And then you have two 13 millimeter bolts in the top center of this cover. Now in order to remove the cover itself, you're going to pull back. If yours is too stuck and you need to pry on it, gently pry between these two tabs and you should be able to get it loose. Be careful not to break one of these ears off. And you're going to pull it back slightly and you start lifting up and out. Of the three 15mm bolts, the shortest one goes on the top left into the head itself. The middle one uh, bolts in behind the tensioner and the longest one goes into the top right. Once you have the upper timing cover off, try and spin your water pump by hand. If you can turn it by hand, that means that your timing belt is looser than it should be and you need to replace it. If you're dealing with timing on a V6 Dodge from 06 to 2010, you'll want to first put the engine in top dead center. If you're not sure what top dead center is, that's when your piston on cylinder number one is all the way at the end of its stroke right before it starts heading down the cylinder as the crank turns the rod over. For this 2008 Dodge Charger that I'm working on, Dodge was kind to us and gave us timing marks. So if you see this mark in the top of the case right there, it's about lined up with the cam gear mark. And the same for this cam gear on the other side, the passenger side, those are both lined up. And then you have a third spot down to the right of the crankshaft gear. You'll see another gear, and right above it is a cast PDC mark with an arrow that needs to line up with the mark on that gear. This stands for top dead center. If all three of these marks are lined up, you know that your V6 engine is has good timing and as long as you can't spin the water pump by hand you know that your belt is still in good shape now to undo your timing belt tensioner you're going to use a 13 millimeter socket on these two bolts right there and right there and the location of this is on the passenger side of your oil pan now that you've uh, taken the tension off of your timing belt and got it out of the way of your water pump you can take a 10 millimeter socket and remove the 12 bolts surrounding the water pump and put your new one in that's how you replace a water pump the learning curve.